So in 1 Nephi chapter 3, Lehi tells his sons to go back to Jerusalem. Verse 2 says, And it came to pass that he spake unto me, saying, Behold, I have dreamed a dream, in the which the Lord hath commanded me, that thou and thy brethren shall return to Jerusalem. And this was frustrating for Laman and Lemuel, um, because it was a hard thing. God wants them to go back and, and do some hard things, get the brass plates. Now, it also seems inefficient, right? Because because God, it feels to me a little bit like, okay, you're going on a big trip, and you go and you go for a couple of days, and then you're like, oh, I completely, we forgot to get this, so we have to go back and get this. And then they go back, they get it, it's hard to get it, they, then they go, and then they have to go back and find the family of Ishmael. You know, so it becomes a, they have to go back a few times, and it feels ineffective, it feels inefficient, it feels like, like, I guess I can feel the kind of annoyance at, at not bringing everything at the outset, kind of like a going on a trip. I don't know if that you've ever had that experience where you go on a trip and then you forget something and have to turn around and come back. Um, but God wasn't forgetting. That's not really what it is. Um, he was just pulling off something bigger than Lehi could handle in one dose. I feel like if Lehi's first dream had been like, okay, first of all, Jerusalem's going to get destroyed, then you're going to have to leave it, but before you leave it, make sure to get the brass plates and make sure to get you know, convert Ishmael and his family so that your your kids have spouses. I think that that would have been too much for Lehi to handle. I think that the piecemeal, one at a time, okay, you have to flee Jerusalem, it's going to be destroyed. Give Lehi some time to process that command. And then say, okay, you're fleeing Jerusalem, it's going to be destroyed. Before you leave, make sure you bring scriptures. Okay, go back, get the scriptures. Okay, Jerusalem's gonna be destroyed. You're not gonna come back here again. Your sons are gonna need wives. You're gonna need more than just your family to, to continue to preserve. Um, so go and convert the family of Ishmael. Oh, okay. So I can see how God's working here and making it um, easier for Lehi to handle um, by doing it bit by bit, um, even though it might seem infuriating. You have a similar process here in this chapter when they're trying to get the brass plates. They go back to Jerusalem and they try various ways to get the brass plates and they seem to fail every time. Laman goes and asks, they try to pay for the brass plates, and it just seems like it seems inefficient. Why not just with Lehi's first dream say, okay, and then this is how you get the brass plates. I think that God knows human psychology and knows that sometimes we need time to process things and work things out. And, and we work a lot better with ideas that we feel like we come up on our own. And, and at some point, only after we're humble enough to pray and to seek God's help and to have faith can he work miracles for us. Um, the first few failures are in part to humble us and in part to help us understand that God's smarter than we are and more capable than we are. So yeah.